Do you find yourself sometimes baffled by patients who are not responding to your care as you would expect them to? It's fairly common for us to see patients with neck pain and potentially a history of whiplash. And most of the time, these patients are pretty straightforward to take care of. We're really great at it. We get excellent results. But sometimes you just have someone who's not getting better. They will sometimes just have an intractable headache or neck pain, but every once in a while you'll also see them having some strange neurologic symptoms, maybe dizziness, fatigue, nausea, paresthesia, they may have hypersensitivities, muscle weakness, and other sort of very neurologically based symptoms. What's going on with these patients? I want to share with you an increasingly recognized but still fairly frequently missed condition that we're starting to see more and more and recognize with the advent of upright MRI. And that is cerebellar tonsillar topia. It's a herniation of the cerebellar tonsil, the lower part of the brain, through the foramen magnum. And you may have heard about it in school as Chiari malformation, which is when the tonsillar ectopia is five millimeters or more. Even any degree of herniation is going to interfere with CSF flow, is going to put abnormal stress on both the cerebellar tonsil and potentially the brainstem, especially in different positions of the head. So what's going on with these patients? You know, frequently we will see misdiagnoses of fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. I've seen patients who were suspected to have Lyme disease or multiple sclerosis that it turned out when we took upright MRI actually had tonsillar ectopia. So as chiropractors, we have this really amazing opportunity to be a beacon of hope for people who can't quite figure out what is going on and why they're having these really sometimes devastating symptoms that can severely compromise their quality of life and their ability to function. So I, at this seminar, we're, am going to be teaching you some specific adaptive spinal adjusting techniques that you can use in conjunction with what you've been doing and to adapt whatever spinal techniques you're using, as well as adding some subtle yet profound cranial, dural, and fascial adjustments that can really make dramatic improvements in these patients' quality of life. And I'm generally not one for being really focused on diagnosis and symptoms because, you know, as a chiropractor, what I really care about is improving CNS function and making sure that there's no interference so the body can function the way that, that it's meant to and be really more resilient. And we have a pretty remarkable opportunity with these patients to address the underlying adverse mechanical tension, improving their nervous system's ability to adapt and actually hold adjustments longer and restore function for these people. So I really hope that you will join me to learn more about how to recognize, how to diagnose, and how to manage, how to work with these patients to really change their lives because it makes all the difference in the world to somebody who is struggling with this condition and doesn't know what's going on and has tried lots of different things and is just really having a hard time and we can be a beacon of hope for them. So join me and learn some really profound things that you can add to your practice that will help not only patients with tonsillar ectopia, but can go across your practice to other patients in having really subtle but profound ways to improve stability and resilience for your patients.